I don't know why they, they shot first. I, uh, who, who gave the authorization? Who said it was okay to take a shot with a, a five-year-old walking around the apartment? Uh, Corey Cunningham is the father of five-year-old Cody Gaines. In August, a Baltimore County police officer shot and wounded Cody while firing and killing his mother, 23-year-old Corinne Gaines. Police say she was armed with a shotgun. Police entered her apartment to serve warrants by kicking down a door. A tactical officer fired police say after a six hour standoff when she threatened to kill police. Cody was hit in the cheek. His arm was injured. Uh, the round was in his face and his lower cheek, cheek area. And he also had uh, material in his arm. Like so, shrapnel in his uh, arm? I don't know. I wasn't there when the first operation went for his arm, so I can't speak on that. All I know is I was told it was things in his arm, and now he has screws in his arm to uh, get his elbow back together. Unknown where the boy was in the apartment when the tactical officer fired. Police have declined our request for details. He's in the house. That's what really matters. He's in the house, so why, why shoot? Why, why do anything when it's a, it's a five year old running around? I mean, he's five. You shoot, he can do anything. He can run, he can, he, he can do anything. He's five. He doesn't know anything about that. All he, he is a loud noise, he's scared. And then, of course, he's going to run to his mom because he's scared. So why would you do anything like that with a five-year-old in, in the house? Lawyer Kenneth Ravenel represents Cody and his father. There's this total lack of transparency. You know? It's been 30 days plus, and we have been told nothing about what really happened. Attorney Ravenel notes the contrast between the Baltimore County Police handling of Corinne Gaines when they fired after six hours and 16 years ago when County Police had to handle the Joseph Palzinski hostage drama. Then they waited four days. Baltimore County Police again declined today to answer our questions. Reporting live tonight, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News. Jane, thank you.